Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the books I got in June and July. There is a mix of Owlcrate, uh, free books, and books that I was sent by publishers, and then a big uh, Dollar Tree book haul. Y'all will be seeing that Dollar Tree haul sometime in August, but y'all are going to be seeing them again in this video. So I'm sorry for the lighting. Sorry for my face. I'm breaking out. I'm stressed about the new school year coming up, but let's just get into that. And I'm wearing my jean jacket today because I'm a little chilly and it's about to storm. But I uh, don't know where to start. So I got my little assistant here, Sammy. Oda. <laughs> okay, which should I start with first? This stack, can... this, this, this. Can I pick the stack? I'm asking you to pick the stack. How about the one over there? Okay, the freebies? Mm-hmm. All right. Start so, things. she picks the freebie stack. First three books I want to show you, my husband picked up out of a uh, cart that my library has just for free. Uh, my library doesn't do sales. They just put a bunch of books on a cart and say, take them. I figure, I don't know why my library doesn't do sales, but there's a bunch of libraries in my system. So... I don't know, but let's just show you the books. The first one is American Front, uh, The Great War American Front by Harry Turtledove. It's not really my style. 1914, World War One. So, I don't know if this is a sequel or not, but. The next one is Flower Net, A Red Princess Mystery by Lisa C. It's in the depths of a Beijing winter during the waning days of Ding Xiaoping's reign. The U.S. ambassador's son is found dead, his body entombed in a frozen lake. Sounds good. Something I would pick up for myself so my husband is paying attention. The last one he picked up was The Dragon and the Unicorn by A.A. A. Antonazio. Antonazio? I love this cover and my kid is freaking out because it's a unicorn but it's beneath every beloved legend there is a deeper legend still etched in ancient stone the dragon and the unicorn begins before the beginning of time as light first cools to matter bearing within its electron glow of lost heaven Tanazio's epic tale of a quest for immortality spans all history human and demi-human from the dung fires on the deep to the snows in the Himalayas, from the mud hut cities on the Euphrates to the glass and steel towers of tomorrow, from the hunt for the unicorn's horn to the ceaseless wars of elf and dragon, Celt and Roman. And as the quest that ends and begins in a legend heavy place at the edge of the western sea with the first cry of a king newborn, a place called Tintagel, I don't know. A king, the heir of Pendragon, called Eagle of Thor, or Arthur. Arthur. So it's King Arthur. I never read King Arthur, but I know the gist. And it's told in parts like Prelude Book 1, Book 2, and then Epilogue. So. I'm going to have to find a readathon that's centered around this type of stuff. So I can read this or I won't read it. I won't pick it up by myself. Another book that my husband picked up for me. Casey, you were too good. Uh, he was stopped by the Little Free Library the other night to drop, drop off some more books. And he picked up a book he think I might like. And it is Touch and Go by Lisa Gardner. This is book two in a series. And I had to Goodreads it. And it's part of my endless 16,000 book TBR on Goodreads. I'm trying to work that. I'm trying to get that down. You can only edit so much in a day. But I'm going to be um, seeing if my library has the first book, hopefully. And then I'll read it. Then the last book in my freebie pile I got from Very Dice. If you don't know what Very Dice is, it's an, a dice game app that if you um, sign up, you can get 30 rolls. And rolls you get, you um, add up on tokens, and then you can exchange those tokens for anything. 
I've gotten makeup brushes, um, jewelry, clothes, books, pops. pops, Funko Pops. And this book came from Very Dice. It is Winter War Awakening. It's the um, finale in the Blood Rose Rebellion um, trilogy. And if you want to, I'm going back to the app. If you want to um, try out the app, I will leave my uh, friend code down below. And I will also link some more videos where I talk about the freebies that I've gotten from Very Dice. Try out Very Dice. It is fun. You will not regret it. I've been playing this app for two years and I've gotten some high quality items. I've gotten books for free. I've gotten Funko Pops. Uh, I've gotten things for my husband. I've gotten toys for my kids for Christmas. Like trains and it's awesome. Check out this app. I will die playing this app. Hopefully it's around that long. I read the sequel finally this year. The second book which is uh, Lost Crave Conspiracy and I absolutely lo I love this series. It's a magical series. It's where the main character, she is barren, that means she doesn't have magic, and she's shunned in her elitist, aristocratic, aristocratic family because they are like the high family that is over the magic and she ruins it and she ends it and then she releases all these monsters and it's just, yes, read it. I'm going to be reading this before the end of the year because I need Anna and Gabor together. I need it in my life. The next pile that Sammy chose is the books that I bought from uh, Owl Crate Pass Shop. Uh, the first one is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I did uh, unboxings for the boxes that I bought from the Pass Shop, so those will be coming soon. I don't know. I haven't even edited those yet. I'm behind on editing, so you'll see in this before you see the video. But I've heard so amazing things about this one, uh, and I've heard not so amazing things about the sequel or the companion. But I really want to read this, and plus, this looks like uh, Ryan Philippe, uh, Reese Witherspoon's ex-husband, or Hayden Christensen. Uh, Anakin Skywalker? Yeah. I see those two when I look at it. Okay. I had to get this one. Uh, I was going to read read it for a, like a read-a-thon sometime this year. I may still if I do. And it's a graphic novel. My kid's going to flip. Uh, she's already flipping. It's the Tea Dragon Society. It is the exclusive edition that Alcrate put out. And... Yeah, my kids love graphic novels. All three of them. I think if they were stranded on a desert island and they could take one thing, it would be just all the graphic novels in the world. No food. They would eat leaves. They like veggies. So, and they would eat fish. They know how to debone fish and scale fish. And they know how to fish. Thanks, Paw Paw. <laughs> um, Ag doesn't know how. So, I got this one. I'm going to be reading it soon and then just handing it off to my kids. And where it, if it ends up damaged, so be it. <laughs> it's well loved anyways. This one came with the graphic novel. It's Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto. I've been wanting to read this one and plus it's got purple pages. Uh, and it's signed. I don't know what this one's about. I'm not gonna it says I'm a daughter of death from the ashes I rose like a phoenix from the pyre. And I like the exclusive edition better than the regular because the orange and the gray and the, and the, the dark color and like the black navy and the orange red fits better. So I don't know what that one's about but I'm ready to read it like everything else. And next stack is my subscription boxes that I subscribe to. It's Alcrate. More Alcrate books. Though the, this stack I bought Pass Shop. This stack I had to wait patiently on. So, 
This is June and July. I'm going to go in order. Uh, the June book for the Alcrate Junior was Time Sight by Lynn Janelle. It's about these three kids in medieval times. Castle. Dog. I don't know. But we may read this probably this year. Probably at the beginning of next year. It depends on how I do my school lessons. I still have a plan. And I've got two weeks left. The June Owl Crate was Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is one of my most anticipated books for this year. I read An Enchantment of Ravens last year and I didn't really love it, but I liked it enough. I like her writing style drew me in. And then this one is a whole lot bigger. So, and to be honest, I don't like the perk. I like the regular, the original uh, cover, but the fairy loot, the blue and those blue sprayed pages. <sighs> fairy loot, can y'all hurry up and um, open that America, the U.S. shipping distribution center so I can subscribe to y'all? Just take my money because I need them exclusive books those sprayed pages and just yes also I'm a little pissed out um, they put Skyward on their fairy trove and it's the UK cover with the yellow um, pages but you can't ship they can't ship them to the US and Canada so I'm waiting, I'm scouring eBay. Somebody buy it, put it on eBay and I'll come buy it. The book that came in the July Alcrate Jr. was The Twelve by Cindy Lin. It is all about like those Chinese zodiacs and I am living for the Chinese zodiacs. The, these kids have animal spirits. These little warrior kids or uh, pretty ninjas or samurai kids. They have animal spirits, which is going to be probably one of my favorite things about this book because it's very Avatar-ish. And I love Avatar The Last Airbender, let me tell you. But yeah, I'm like, we will be reading this one before the end of the year because I need to. This is Addie's. Aries. Not Addie's, Aries. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> And the book that came in my July Owl Crate was Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. So the both July books from Owl Crate and Owl Crate Jr. They're Asian inspired. So um, this is about this tailor seamstress. She enters this trial and she has to knit together the stars, the sun and the moon and a dress for royal, the imperial family. Something like that. I don't know. I stay away from synopsis because sometimes authors put too much into their summaries about the story and it just gives the whole thing away and makes it very disappointing. So I'm not reading any more synopsis. But I am intrigued. I want to know how you can sew together the sun, moon, and stars. The next stack is the book, uh, books that I got sent from publishers for uh, blog tour spots uh, and just giveaway wins. The first one is a Goodreads giveaway win. I've won so many Goodreads giveaway wins. And I see it on a bunch of groups that I'm in on Facebook. Um, sometimes people ask, how do you win Goodreads giveaways? It's just random. If y'all want to see a video of all the books that I've one in a Goodreads giveaway, comment down below and let me know and I can certainly do that. And this one was the um, most recent one that I've won. It is uh, the paperback edition of The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I've never read a Ruth Ware book but I've been like eyeballing uh, the Lion Game and Woman in Captain and this one and the Turn of the Key sounds so freaking amazing. Thanks, Lala. Um, <laughs> so I will definitely have to read this one around October because 
this is just creepy AF. It's two books I'm going to show you. I've already talked about in my June wrap up, I think. Yes, my June wrap up. And so if you want to know more about those, I'll link that wrap up down below. It is Charlie and Frog, The Bony Hand by Karen Kane. I got this, I got sent this for a blog tour spot. And then the next one was Delight Houston, Texas by Joe M. Solomon. I was also sent this for a blog tour. And yeah, I'm still uh, shook from this. I'm, I don't look up in the sky anymore. Nope. I don't look up at the blue clouds. And, yeah. This, no. That ruined me. <laughs> I was also sent Shipwreckers, The Curse of the Cursed Temple of Curses. Or, We Nearly Died. A lot. <laughs> this dude reminds me of that uh, Nickelodeon show, Rocket Power. He reminds me of the dad. No shoobies. Um, I want to read the back because it's funny. Hello, lovely tour people who all paid up front. I am your captain. Captain Kevin Aventurson. The infamous Captain Kevin. And welcome to your Shipwreckers Adventure Tour, Danger Guaranteed. I am wearing no pants and we are leaving now. So it's going to be like, it's a little humorous book. Um, I don't know if it's like a sequel or if there's, if it's a companion to another book. But I'm going to have to check it out. Because I, I just need to know, is it based, is it similar to Rocket Power? I need to watch that show again. I need to get my kids to watch that show. And look, TikTok Crocs right here. It's not TikTok Crocs, but uh, every crocodile is a TikTok Croc. And then this pissed out fish with some teeth. And then this one, he's like, I don't know. But. Yeah. I can't wait to read this one with my kids. And the two books that I was sent for blog tour spots I read in July, they're going to be in my they're in my July wrap up. I will link that down below when I get to it. Um, the first one was No Place Like Here by Christina June. This is about a girl. Her father goes to jail, and she her summer and senior year is ruined. She gets sent to this camp to work at against her will. And she, it changes her life. It changed my life. So, yeah. Talk about it more in my July wrap up. Or if you want to go ahead and read my uh, blog review, I'll link that down below. Along with all my other blog tour spots mentioned in this book haul. And then the last book I read in July was Pretty in Punxsutawney by Laurie Boyle Crompton. <laughs> I didn't like this at all once, oh ever. This is Mean Girls meets Groundhog Day meets Pretty in Pink. The amount of movie references and the, it says repeat, it's a repeat every single day. Same thing, over and over and over and over and over again and I got sick of it real quick. Um, so if you like 80s movies and uh, Molly Ringwald references 24-7. Read it. I'm going to show you the books that I bought in that Dollar Tree haul. I'm not going to go into detail because I talk about them in that Dollar Tree haul. So the first one is Where World Nest of Serpents. Look at this color. It's awesome. Last Flying Flag by Daryl Ponixan. Author of The Last Detail. This is a uh, sequel to the last detail. Didn't know that at first. But it's got, it's a movie, obviously. It's got this dude, I don't know his name, but he's awesome. Uh, Steve Carell and Brian Cranston. Breaking Bad. Gilded Cage by Vic James. This is one of my, this is a, a favorite of mine, because I don't know why. It's just a favorite. <laughs> I had I read this when Sammy got her lip pick copy of Tarnished City. 
it's about if you want to become a citizen you have to do 10 years slavery to gain your rights you give up everything to become a citizen Sorry. free space by Sean Danker I don't know what this is about but it kind of looks like Terminator and it's got a cool uh, solar eclipse going on. Uh, the Curse of the Tenth Grave by Durinda Jones. I love the first book, First Grave on the Right, or something like that. Because the covers, they're awesome. Look at the little skull, wine glass charm, and then the little uh, Grim Reaper charm. The first book has uh, a heel, a shoe, and on the top of the foot it's a uh, diamond encrusted skull head that uh, connects to the shoe and it's just beautiful and I, the covers intrigue me I don't remember what the first book is about but I remember the cover so I need to finish reading the books this book reminds me of an N.K. Jemison book it is Children of Earth and Sky look at that sun and it's by Guy Gabriel K, international best-selling author of River of Stars and Under Heaven. So I don't know if this is a uh, companion or part of a series, but it's a big boy. The last two are YA books that will like change your life. Go to Dollar Tree and look at your book section. I said this in the Dollar Tree haul that y'all will probably see this before this video. And it, The Ship Beyond Time by Heidi Heilig. This is book two in her duology. Uh, the first one was The Girl from Everywhere. And I love how this looks like an anchor. The last book of this haul. Brace yourselves. I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm going to say it one more time. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. This came from Dollar Tree. <laughs> this book was at freaking Dollar Tree. It came out last year. It was very hyped. Are y'all ready to see where I got what I got from Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree. The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. This is the spinoff series, book one, that was so freaking hyped. This is the spinoff of the Mare Dyer trilogy. Dollar Tree. Even though it's got a Walmart sticker, Dollar Tree bought it from Walmart. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. How many more times am I going to say Dollar Tree in this video? I don't know. Maybe two more. Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Go to your Dollar Tree. Philip. Go look at your Dollar Tree section. I want to say Dollar Tree. I'm going to be sick of it while I'm editing. Go to the book section. Search. Plunder. Dig. Hunt. Whatever you do. This was hidden. This was the only one. And then my husband wanted to put it back and go get another copy. But little did he know when he was um, rolling his eyes and giving me major side eye. That this was the only copy. He wanted to put it back because it's ripped. Do I care? No. I got the book. My daughter's over here laughing at me. <laughs> Every time I go to the book section at Dollar Tree, he walks off and says, oh, I knew it. Well, yeah, of course you did. Who do you think I am if I'm going to skip the book section? The only reason I skip the book section is if it's messy as hell and there ain't nothing. Okay, this clip's too long. Alright, don't say Dollar Tree no more. Okay, that is the end for my summer book haul. It's the beginning of August. It's August 5th and I've already started my, my book gathering for August. I got three books and those are free. So no money spent. Um, 
So if you like this book haul, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and yeah, go look at your Dollar Trees. I, I have, let me count, one, two, three, four, I have five Dollar Trees, and I only shop at two, maybe three. So I need to go check out the fourth and fifth one that are way out of my uh, driving range. So, have you read any of these books? What ones should I read next? Yeah. Uh, read my blog reviews down below. My kid, thank you. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. I'm burping. Excuse you. <clears throat> I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.